Okay, a couple suggestions. I would take a breath after the word peace on the verse. So it's glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Also, look at the word rests. Look at all the sounds, rests. There's so many sounds in there. So while you're driving, just practice saying rests, rests, rests. On his favor rests. And try to make it as clear as you possibly can so it doesn't just become into this fumbly kind of thing. Also, look at the chord changes. This is for you, uh, your ear. Look at the chord changes on those on whom his favor rests. Now, it's the same chord, the same G chord, you see that above the staff there, those on whom his favor, those on whom his favor, those on whom his favor, then the chord changes, rests. So, you're not gonna hear your accompanist move very far in that G chord. But then on rests, they're gonna move, okay? So being aware of the accompaniment can help. I, I suspect that some people on the word favor will have trouble looking for that, that D note, unless they hear the chord. And they can hear that it's part of the same chord before moving on to the next one, okay? All right, so I hope that was helpful and have a great Christmas. Look, I'm a little bit closer now. And as always, if you would like a couple tips on how to get your congregation to sing better, whether you're a cantor or a music director, check out musicministry101.com and I have a short training there, that's about a 10 or 15 minute training, with 10 tips that you can use to get your congregation to actually sing louder. There's a couple tricks in there, a couple things that I love to do here at St. Patrick's to just get them to crank the volume up a little bit higher. So I hope that is helpful and have a wonderful Christmas season.